Yo, what's good YouTube? It's Borzy, and in this video, I'm going to just be talking about my one complaint with 360 hertz. As some of you may have noticed, um, I got a new monitor. This is the Asus 360 hertz monitor. Um, it's a really fucking insane monitor, and once I get more time on it, I will make a full review. Um, but I just want to quickly say that 360 hertz, there is a definitely noticeable difference coming from a budget to 40 hertz monitor and the ips panel looks insane i'm not going to say anything cringe like oh it looks like the first time i ever saw my game but it looks a lot better um but my main complaint is these fucking monitor legs dude it's literally so aids and before you comment something cringe like oh just mount it to your desk mount it to your wall keep in mind this is a $700 monitor. It is top of the line in like every feature, but it just has these gigantic fucking legs. And you might be noticing, like I reviewed the Fanatic Streak around a week ago and I'm still using it because it has kickback feet. So I actually can put the keyboard over the where the fucking monitor leg is so I can use it in a comfortable position. Um, I want to use my NK65 but since it does have kickback feet, I basically am forced to use it in this position. Um, and I can't type like this, like what the fuck? And if I put it on top, it just becomes wobbly. So yeah, these legs are completely fucking me over. Um, and you know, you just love to see it. On this side, it's really not as much of an issue. I have had problems with the rubber M1K cable, um, but I've arranged it in a position where it really would only fuck me over if I am like swiped my mouse directly into to it uh, but you see how scuffed this is and on an otherwise perfect monitor I just wish it wasn't this way I probably will fix it because there's no way I'm just gonna live like this for the rest of my life um, but fuck that's it's just really mind-bogglingly stupid to me and if I don't twist the monitor legs you can see I don't even have room for like half of my artisan pad to lay on it it's just really scuffed and it may seem like i'm raging over like a small inconvenience but this has truly ruined my personal happiness ever since i initially received the monitor um and i don't know i saw reviews of this monitor and people seemed like nobody was happy with it but man just having it like take up half of the like depth of my desk is so fucking annoying and i understand i have a smaller desk than most um but i i just feel like i have been charged targeted by big monitor leg gang for absolutely no reason like realistically what purpose does it serve over like a circular base um i i doubt anything aside from just forcing people to buy aftermarket monitor stands it's all a fucking conspiracy but i mean i don't know i feel like this definitely has some merit to it but to be honest, the main reason I'm making this video is because I posted about this issue on Twitter right when I got the monitor, and so many people just seem to brush it off and just accept it as if it was the norm that I'm supposed to like buy an aftermarket mod for my monitor, um, especially at the price point. I think it's even more like inexcusable, um, and I don't know. It seems like it's kind of an unpopular opinion to have. I wonder what the uh, comments of this video are going to look like. Um, but yeah, that's probably going to be all. Uh, I just wanted to complain about that, wanted to have my opinion out there that I do not condone this just weird bullshit at $700. Um, I don't know, just imagine if, like, you bought a phone and it just has, like, a giant... Ma it's just like, yeah, imagine you buy a phone and it just have, has a fucking M1K at the bottom. That, that You wouldn't want that. That's how I fucking feel with this monitor. Wow, that was the best analogy of all time. Leave a like and sub for that. Goodbye.